back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I just want to say really quickly before I start this video, thank you so much for the love on the last one. In general, thank you to whoever's watching. Thank you to, even if you didn't watch, it doesn't matter. Everyone who did comment or ask me questions and stuff like that, I just, whatever. I just wanted to say thank you. So anyways, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Uh, if you like this kind of content, Give it a like and subscribe and if you're not welcome back and thank you for joining me again this week so as you guys can see from the title of this video i'm gonna be showing off my coach collection uh, i used to work there i was with the company for over a year so trust me when i say i bought a lot a lot of stuff it's really hard to control yourself when you see all these new styles coming out and on that note i do want to mention um Sometimes Coach has this kind of like, this brand perception that perhaps it's for older people. Um, if you think that, that's okay, but just watch this video and just see all this adorable design, 20, I'm turning 21, so just check it out and if you still want to think that way, no problem, but if you also like the stuff in this video, then Coach might be for you. Oh, also really quickly, I wanted to make a video where I tried everything on and paired it together, like outside in the sun, but unfortunately I don't have like a professional photographer, so I don't think it came out that well, but it'll be at the end of the video if you want to check it out. It looks a little something like this. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, and if you want to be my professional videographer or photographer, please call me. I need help. So I just want to start with a quick story time. Uh, this video isn't by any means like sponsored or anything because although I was with the company for over a year, I did uh, leave about six months ago. I was going to go on an exchange. So I was leaving to China. So I unfortunately had to quit. But as you guys can see, I'm still here because Corona hit us all very harshly. So I never got to do my exchange. So that being said, everything in this video is my absolute honest opinion. But I just have to say this really quickly, like, working at Coach was an insane experience. Like, I genuinely, genuinely loved it. If you're somebody who's trying to break into this kind of fashion industry world, or you're thinking of higher end, you know, modern luxury kind of retail stuff like that, um, consider Tapestry. So that's like the father company under them. You have Stuart Witzman, or I can never pronounce this brand, but anyways, Coach, and you have Kate Spade, so they're all under the Tapestry umbrella. Consider, you know, working for them. They really, I loved my entire team. I loved my managers. I really had a great great time and I thought it was a really good way to kind of step foot into this kind of industry. So that's just really quick out of the way. Next, without further ado, let's get into all my bags. I'm gonna start, I guess, in like my order of favorites. So it's this little guy here. This was one of their older pieces. I was working there, this was already like out of stock. They weren't even really making it anymore. But I absolutely love it. It's got these two little turn locks here and you open it up and yeah so I have all my stuff in here I literally never leave the house without this you can wear as a crossbody on your shoulder obviously or you can pull up the chain and wear it like this this is kind of how I like to wear it I think it's super cute and honestly it just looks good whether it be casual or you're going on a night out doesn't matter it looks good so nothing bad at all to say about this my only sad part is that these turn locks used to turn together but they broke so now I have to turn them individually it's not a huge deal but this is my favorite favorite wearable piece my next one is this little guy it's called the canteen bag and it's in chalk so obviously it comes with a strap I'm very delicate with my bag so I like to keep them kind of tucked away neatly like this unless I'm using it. So obviously it's a crossbody. You kind of just hook these two pieces up and voila. This is actually a 1941 collection. You can tell by the hang tag. It's a little different than our New York collection. I'm not going to go too much into this. I can always make a separate video about like everything I've learned working there, you know, kind of working in a middle up luxury retail store. I could always talk about that, but yeah. My black one's more of a going out winter bag. This is definitely my summer one. White always looks so good during the summer, so staple piece. Love this bag. It is so, so cute. So the next one I want to show you is this little guy. Um, this is the Rogue 25. Uh, I was actually quickly on their website yesterday just to brush up on some facts, and I realized I don't think they sell Rogues anymore. I think these got discontinued, so I guess they're officially 
vintage. Um, these come, this comes in a larger size, but I'm a very petite person, so I opted for the mini one, and I'm literally in love with this bag. Um, quick little story. So Coach, when they were selling this, used to make a customizable option where you could actually choose the color of the leather, the inside, the um hardware like you were able to customize it completely so for fun I was working one day I wasn't really busy so I just customized myself a bag and I was like wow this is so cute not a month later guys coach revealed that this was the next one coming out so in other words I had to buy it because this was my dream bag that I had designed and I was just super lucky that coach was on the same page as me and came out with this so obviously I had to buy it I think this is my priciest um, purchase is this one so as you can see you can hold it like this or there's two straps that come inside that you can take out and wear like this so you guys can see the full bag like that and what's great about this is you can actually detach this detach this hook these two together and now you've got yourself a crossbody Next favorite bag. You guys also know this is my favorite color, and if you didn't, this is my favorite color. So, so the next one I want to show you is probably my most prized Coach bag. Um, and the thing is, I wanted to buy it for so long, but it was out of stock constantly that I actually purchased it after I quit. Yeah, this one right here. This is um the color peacock and it's this gorgeous like deep teal turquoise and it's got this our signature horse and carriage I keep saying our as if I still work there and I don't but bear with me and this one is also 1941 um, this particular style was more of a runway piece uh, a piece that we literally never received because how coach stores work is they're split into different like tiers like you know like every other store some get certain styles others don't Unfortunately, we never got the style, so it was so hard for me to get my hands on, but luckily I did eventually. This was definitely my most prized possession. I haven't even worn this out yet. I've had this for like almost a year, and I've still never worn it out. It just sits on my shelf, but I love this color, and yeah. So you've got this little top handle. This is the Riley top handle. Um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like if you open it up. Like this. A nice burgundy and what we say oxblood color uh, it kind of opens like this like an accordion so you can really fill it it's got this cute little chain what I love about it is it's got leather as well as chain and this was one of the really special pieces um, and it's rare that they ever mix gold with black chain this was definitely a special piece and I can't wait to wear it out once quarantine is over Let's take a quick break from um, bags, and I just want to show you my favorite pair of sunglasses. I don't even know what these are called. There's these huge square sunglasses. When I have these on, I have major attitude because I feel like a celebrity because they cover half my face. And the super cute C link on the side, and I like when my glasses aren't too thick, so... <laughs> yeah... Okay, moving on. I just thought we would take a break. Oh, on that note, I'm also wearing a little coach necklace. It's, yeah, anyways. Here's something else I haven't ever used. Oh, I hate that I do this because I buy everything and I don't need it, clearly. Got a little turn lock. As you can see, I really like this color. By the way, this isn't leather. And, yeah, that's it. And what's really great about this is it was part of our exclusive uh, Keith Haring collection. Uh, Keith Haring was this guy who kind of came out of the culture in the 1980s as this insane artist who would paint all over New York and these little like figurines, these little figures. Okay, so the next bag I want to show you is my professional bag. So I literally went and put on my blazer because it is a big difference. The Metropolitan Brief. Okay, so I'm a business student and I thought it would be a really good idea to get something on the professional side, like uh, for whether it be for recruitment sessions or, you know, conferences or case competitions, anything like that, even for school. I thought it would be a really good idea just to find something classy and a staple piece. Um, this is also, as you can see, it's a pebble leather and I'll show you what the inside looks like. Okay, 
You've got your lining for your laptop. There is no zipper though, so this is something you have to like be accustomed to. And it closes with magnets. Love this bag. My only complaint is that it's so heavy. Like all I put is like my 13 inch laptop, a book, and my pencil case. And it kills. It's leather, right? Which as people who do use real leather will know, it is extremely heavy. It is durable, but heavy. So sometimes you'll see me carrying it like this <laughs> on my way to school. Or if I'm really tired that day, slept on my shoulder, or even like across like that. And just really quickly, uh, here's a little keychain that I got. It says California on it. Coach makes very specific um, keychains for certain locations. I don't remember all of them, but they have one for California, New York, Hawaii, and a couple of other places. Unfortunately, they don't have one for Montreal, so I bought the next best thing at, when I was in LA last year. So, yeah. There you go. Okay, since we're talking about big bags, let me just take out my tote. This is a cute uh, little market tote in ice pink. Sorry, I have paper in here because I like to keep everything like filled up because it'll end up slouching and you don't want your leather to like crease or anything like that. So if you guys have any large bags that kind of like topple over, I definitely suggest filling it with tissue so it keeps its form. Very important for the leather. Also pebble. Super cute, has a little lock on it, has an inside pocket. Not much complaint either, but these straps can dig into your shoulders if you've got something really heavy in here. So I try not to like put too much stuff in it. The straps will hold, okay? The leather is really well done on it. It's just you won't be comfortable. So, yeah. I'm showing my pink bags. I thought I'd show you this. Um, this is my little Parker. It's the Parker 18, I believe. Oh. I have yet to wear it. I still have not worn this. It's been over a year that I've had it. And I saw this and the sparkle and I was like, I need it because I think it's a great holiday bag. But then this holiday pass and then the next holiday pass and the holiday after that pass. And here I am still not having used it. So this is what it looks like in full. It's a chain. It's not adjustable, okay? But it's fine. You can wear it, obviously, crossbody or on... Ooh. Or just on the one arm but here's a really fun little trick that I showed you before with the double chain and I prefer wearing it on the shoulder versus um, across it across the body so you just open up the top flap and you pull out the chain on the inside here close the flap or don't and get robbed whatever you want and pull this through completely and voila there you go I really like this design and I remember working there and when people would say like, oh, I don't like how long it is and I would show them this little trick and those who previously didn't know about it were like astonished and thought it was the cutest thing ever. So definitely this is how I wear all my bags. Okay, last but not least, this guy. Um, this is just, I don't know how to describe it. It's such a classic coach color and you know hardware like these are called rivets okay so this is the parker top handle what we just saw was the parker 18 this is the parker top handle with rivets like i have never seen a piece that is more coach okay because this is coach's signature canvas and this is their classic color and i just love everything about it um it's relatively new actually like this came out last year some of the other pieces i've shown you have been around for a little longer here's the classic turn lock again i'll show you the inside gorgeous color these are all microfiber by the way like microfiber some are suede but most of them are just microfiber lining that's what it looks like a pocket here and the chain is also super nice like my riley i was showing before it's half chain half leather but it would definitely hold it i would not wear it as a crossbody in my opinion this is too dainty and too perfect to be just used as a crossbody bag but that's my own opinion it's okay if yours is different but i would definitely hold on to this versus just wearing it crossbody Okay, so the last thing I'm going to end it on is this gift that I actually got from them. Um, I have won a contest. So during Christmas time, we do have contests, you know, like as every retail store does. And I actually won this. So I was so proud. I absolutely, oh, I love it. This is um, a gorgeous Napa leather. So what's different is that this is sheep. 
Obviously the other ones are cow. Um, and it's got this nice kind of pattern on it. It's super soft. But warning as well, Napa is probably the most easily scratched kind of leather. So don't buy Napa if you're not ready to take care of it like a crazy person. It comes with a little chain that you can either obviously wear like this or you can unhook and bring it to this side and now you've got yourself a little kind of tiny little handbag. We call these SLGs which stands for small leather goods but not a yeah but Coach also sells like chains like these on its own that are much longer so if you wanted to wear it as a crossbody you can go and buy it separately and attach it on and you're good to go. And right before I finish off with the bags, because I am done showing you guys my bag collection, I want to just explain really quickly how important it is to use leather cleaner and moisturizer. Because leather is skin, right? And it can get dehydrated. And if you live in an area where it's very dry, I definitely suggest at least moisturizing and cleaning, you know, maybe every season. If you're taking your bags out or putting them in the closet, just give it a nice wipe down. Um, always use a white cloth because you don't want there to be accidental color transfer. These aren't expensive, by the way. Like, you can pick these up at any coach store. And don't worry if you forget about it. Chances are we'll probably recommend it to you because we genuinely believe in our products. See, I'm still talking like I work there, but I do not. But, Coach, if you see this and you want to offer me an internship, I will also gladly take it. I've always wanted to intern there. Anyways. Okay, so that pretty much is the end of my bag collection. I'm going to put these away and get out my shoe collection, which, in my opinion, is just as precious. Okay, I will be right back. Oh, I also forgot to show you guys this amazing blue navy trench coat i'll try it on for you in just a second it's just because you can't really see the full look so hey so as i was doing my little photo shoot outside i realized really quickly that i forgot to show you my favorite coach items ever it's these two cashmere scarves um i loved it so much i bought it twice <laughs> so the first one is black and white and it's a huge as you can see square scarf the way i usually like to wear it is to fold it in half and I just wear it like, oops, oof. I like to wear it like a poncho. It's super, super warm. The cashmere isn't scratchy like it usually is. So I love everything about it and it is so, so soft. The second it becomes October, it gets chilly. I wear it to school all the way up until like March. If there's one item that you need from this entire video, it's these scarves. I live by them and as you can see, I have it in both colors. All right, let's start off with my smallest shoe I guess doesn't make much sense but oh it's the Keith Haring slides that I was telling you about before it's also in that cute baby pink and the little heart shape that clearly I love and I'm obsessed with um <laughs> this is shirling which is the most common kind of fur that coach uses and it's so soft I love it I do, however, have a complaint for these. Um, the tip here is a little heart. You can't tell because it's got the fur, but under it, it's that same kind of rubber consistency. And maybe it's the shape of my foot, but it actually gives me a blister right at the toe. So I don't wear these as often as maybe I should. Um, I, however, have really good grip on the bottom. You can see that it's ribbed like that. Um, my next pair of shoes probably is the ones that I wear almost the most, around the most, okay? Uh, it's my, like, sneakers. I don't know what the names of the shoes are. The bags I know, but the shoes I don't really know. So, they're kind of dirty, as you can see. Um, I do wear them so often. It, it's got suede here in, like, this nice midnight navy color, and then we have the Coach C print right here. These are super cute. They kind of give you the dad sneaker vibe that is, like in or not anymore I don't really know I got these over a year ago but I do really really love these and chances are if you've seen me I've worn them at one point or another but I love these complaints oh yes they're heavy I don't know why it's probably the sole but I thought it would have been like empty in there but these are actually heavy so maybe they're filled and that's why it's like heavier than my Nikes and Adidas but I mean there's they're not for running okay these are casual wear so Alright, so my next pairs, um, honestly, I should probably put my blazer on, but it's okay, uh, are my Waverly's. These are your classic pointy-toed pumps. 
Obviously, I have them in black and beechwood. I felt like I needed two for some reason, even though not comfortable at all. These are too small for me, so that's my fault. And then I went up half a size for these, and they're still not that comfortable. I think it's just because they're pointy-toed. Like, no pointy-toed shoes are comfortable. Like, I refuse to believe that Louboutins are comfortable. Like, if you own a Louboutin, you want to come at me in the comments, please. But I refuse to believe those are comfortable. Or those classic YSL ones. Like, Yves Saint Laurent, you're not fooling nobody. With a heel like that, it's not comfortable. So, that's what I'm choosing to believe. These I have in a size 5 and a 5 and a half. I wear a 6, so just to show you guys that Coach does usually make their shoes a little bigger. So they come in plenty of colors, but I bought the two that were the most neutral, so. After just saying how uncomfortable the shoes were, I want to show you a pair that are actually very comfortable. These are the, oh, oh, I know the name. It's like Mary Jane suede pumps. Yeah. I think these are great <laughs> because they're round-toed. I've always wanted a pair of round-toed shoes. I don't know why, but these definitely give me more room in the toe area than the Waverly pumps, those were tight. But these are really nice. It's got this cute little ankle strap. And what's best about it is that it's a block heel. You see the block heel? Stability, my friends. These I can walk in all day. I've done a case competition in these. And yes, by the end my feet were sore. But I, I managed. So love, love, love these. Of shoes are these it's the Cassandra booties these are like I call them my witch shoes because I find them kind of like spooky ish witchy ish but I do really love them it's a nice suede although I have to be honest it's because I'm short okay but the height of these make it really awkward for me to wear I don't know what to wear them with because my jeans go past this part and then my I can't roll my jeans up here because then it goes too high so I guess I could wear it with a skirt like a long skirt maybe I don't know how to style these it's so embarrassing because like I work there I should know how to style these but I don't know how to wear these shoes so okay my next pair of shoes are boots they're kind of like combat boots like you know your dog Martins uh, but I didn't want Doc Martens. I wanted shoes that look like them but I didn't actually want those so I went ahead and bought these uh, it's also Sherling at the top, as you guys can see, um, okay, there was a pair available with no Sherling, but I was like, no, I want the fur, and I do regret that, but it's okay. So great. These are so easy to clean, so durable. I wear these every winter in Montreal. You guys know how slushy it gets, and these hold no problem. Thick bottom, as you guys can see, goes all the way up, and just overall, no complaint. Okay, I reserved my favorite pair for the very end. Um, I love them because they're cute, and I wouldn't know if they're comfortable or not because I haven't worn them yet. <clears throat> These are the Danas, I think. I think that's what they're called. Oh, they're so cute. I love, like, these platformed, like, go-go dancer shoes. Like, huge platform, huge heel, cute little seat buckle. I just, I literally love these. One complaint I actually do have now that I'm looking at these shoes, and it's not just for these, it's for all the heels that Coach has. It's so... Do you see... Oh, look at that. There's no, like, lines on it at all. So they're so slippery to walk in. You see that? I would have loved if they added some, like, rubber at the bottom or some texture just to make it more anti-slip. But look at that. There's nothing. Nothing. These are just marks from when I walk outside in them. See? But that's not really a huge deal. They make the sh their shoes pretty well, and I just overall have no complaint.
But that is my collection. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little show and tell. If you guys want more like coach styling tips and advice and like tips and tricks here and there, let me know or just my about my experience there. I would love to share. I just don't know if anyone's really interested in like hearing that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys all next week. Mwah!